Hello and welcome back to AGB Art. In today's video, I'll show you how to use a liquid varnish and not leave brush strokes. If you enjoy the video, please press like and subscribe to my channel. The product I'm using in this video is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. It comes in an 8 ounce bottle and it's anywhere between $15 to $20. I use a reclosable airtight plastic container for my cloth just so the cloth will stay wet. This is a lint free cloth that I bought at the dollar store and I ended up cutting it down to this manageable size. I highly recommend that you use gloves of some type. When I varnished the first coat yesterday, I had to wash and scrub my hands several times. This is what my hand looked like after scrubbing with a nail brush. It stuck everywhere. And here is my hand after being washed several times, doused in rubbing alcohol, and then having nail polish remover rubbed on top. I still have flakes of varnish coming off my hands. I'm putting a little bit of the varnish on my cloth and I'm going to just wipe the canvas. This particular painting has a little texture in it. It's an abstract. I didn't pour it. And I'm just wiping, and this is coming directly out of the bottle. And you'll see later on the video that this particular painting, the varnish looked real good after just one coat. Even though I decide to do two coats, it stays quite shiny. So I do the surface and then I'm really careful to do the sides and sometimes I'll touch up the corners. I feel like people tend to touch corners a whole lot when they're hanging a painting. And then once I've wiped it over, I lift it up and tilt it in the light to make sure that I've covered every part of the canvas. I'll do the exact same thing with the second canvas. I'm putting a little extra varnish on the cloth and I'm wiping all over. I'm making sure I get the sides as well. And then I tilt the canvas in the light to make sure all of it's been covered. With this one, I felt like there wasn't enough varnish on the cloth. My cloth is only very damp and I'm looking to put more varnish on it. I noticed with this one that when I added more varnish to the cloth and then would go back over the painting, it got tacky very quickly. And I think if your canvas gets tacky and you play with it with a cloth, you're gonna create lines. Okay, third painting, and I think I have the strategy down pat. My cloth is damp from the other two. I've added a little bit of varnish to it, and now I'm doing little circles all over the canvas. I think this is the best way to get good coverage. Just do tiny little circles, and there I am just checking to make sure I covered it. Looks good. I'm putting these paintings on a rack to dry overnight. Here's the next one, and I'm using that same technique. I get the cloth wet, and I'm going to do little circles, little light circles all over the canvas. And remember, this looks fast because the video is sped up. I'm actually not going this fast little circles all over and I'll overlap where the circle was before and then I'm sure to get the sides 
I'm doing some light wipes there for some reason. Now I'm getting the sides. And here is the result almost 24 hours later. You can see there's a little bit of shine to this one. This is with one coat of Liquitex high gloss liquid varnish. Okay, second day, second layer of varnish. I'm definitely putting gloves on today and I'm getting my damp cloth out of the airtight container. I'll put a little bit of varnish on the cloth. I want to give that bottle a good shake. And then I'm using that same technique of tiny circles on the top of the canvas. I'm not pressing down very hard. Even though it looks like I'm scrubbing, I'm not scrubbing. It's light circles. Now, if you don't have a cloth like this, you could cut up an old t-shirt. You could use any fabric that is lint free. And there I wipe the sides and I'm showing you that shine. Next canvas, same technique, tiny circles. I'm not pressing down. I'm just doing basic tiny circles and I'm adding more varnish when I feel like the cloth is drying up. And I'll be sure to do the sides and the corners, and then I tilt to make sure that all of it is wet. This next canvas was one that I did not do the circles on, and you can see after the first layer, there are spots on the canvas that are not covered. This is the second layer for this painting. And I'm doing a little extra coverage there where I felt like there was no varnish there from yesterday. And then I'll go around the canvas and do my little circles. You're watching me work at a normal speed right now. So you can see how slowly I'm working. It takes me maybe five minutes to do a canvas. And I think it's important to seal the canvas so that you can keep dirt and dust off of it. And if your canvas ever gets dusty, you can just lightly wipe it and you're not going to ruin the painting underneath. I really think the paintings would be dry in maybe two hours. It's very hot and humid where I am. So last night I let them sit overnight because I just didn't have the time to stay up and continue varnishing them. I waited about two hours and went back downstairs and this is what I found. This is after two coats of the Liquitex liquid high gloss varnish. I'm really thrilled with the shine. It's shiny enough for me. I don't need it like glass. And the coverage looks really good. I truly think you need to do the little circle technique on both layers. As I did with this particular painting, you can see the coverage. I don't see any brush marks. It really looks good. This one's a little more subtle. It's not quite as glassy looking. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll subscribe to my channel.